Hello everyone, it's Saturday again, and welcome back to our second session of eThinker Weekend. Let me introduce myself. My name is Nicholas. And I am Cheryl. For our first ever session of eThinker Weekend 2022, we made an exciting DIY Lava Lab where we got to see the chemical reaction behind the activity. So Nicholas, what experiment are we going to do today? For today, let's have some fun with physics, Cheryl. Have you seen a balloon-powered car before? Today, we are going to build our own car by using recycled materials and the power of our bread. Yes, we are using the potential energy from our bread to move the car instead of using petrol, diesel, and engine. What? We will fill this car using our bread? It sounds awesome, and I can't wait to do it. Will it be super fast? And do I need a car lesson? My friend and I don't have a car lesson. Don't worry, Cheryl. We don't need a car license for this. All we need is one small empty bottle, four caps, one balloon, two wooden skewers, two straws, a scissors, a knife, and a tech kit. If you're ready, if you have them ready, you can type ready in the Facebook comment below. So we are making a balloon powered car. Is it safe? Yes, don't worry. It will be safe. Before that, Cheryl, what are some of the tips and suggestions for today's activity? For the tips and suggestions, as we want to get our car moving, get yourself a big and flat surface as a truck. Also, you need an adult supervision like your parents or older siblings to help you as we're going to use sharp tools. So, be careful, okay? Thanks, Cheryl, for sharing this tip. Now, let's get started on the experiment. Are you ready to see the balloon car in action? Give us a thumbs up emoji in the comment section if you're ready. All right, first, get your knife and cut two holes on top and bottom of the bottle. So now I've created the square shaped hole just like this, which is this. And now we are going to make a small circle shaped hole at the bottom that can fit your straw. Make sure that the bottom hole is parallel to the top hole. So.
Have you done yours, Nicholas? Yes, I've done. Okay. Okay. okay, let's put this aside. Second, take one of these straws and cut it into half. Next, we are going to poke a small hole in the center of each bottle cap using a knife. The hole should not be too big or too small, just enough to fit the skewer. Do this step for all of four bottle caps. Remember to get help from your parents if needed. So let's do it together with us. Remember, okay, it should not be too big or too small, just enough to fit the skewer. Right in the center. All right. Have you done yours, Nicholas? Yes. Can you show? See the holes? And another two more. In total, we got four bottle caps with holes in the center. Then, cut both of the wooden skewer and make sure the skewer a bit longer than the straw that we just cut. I will show you. This is the skewer and this is the straw. So if your skewer is shorter than your straw, you can cut your straw a little bit shorter. Make sure your skewer longer than your straw. Like this, the skewer longer than the straw. Have you done, Nicholas? Yeah. Great. Longer than the straw. Longer than the straw. Yeah. What now, yeah. now, to prevent the wheels from loosening, Place a little bit of packet at the middle of the hole of the bottle cap and press the bottle cap onto the end of the wooden skewer to form a wheel. Put it right in the center and make sure it fits. You can also use pack kit like this to make sure the bottle caps fit with the skewer. Do 
do it for both of the skewer, okay? Are you guys doing okay there? Give thumbs up if you guys are ready. After you finish with this step, take a straw and push the wooden skewer through it like this. Can you see it? This will form your axle. Let's do the same for the other side. How are you doing, Nicholas? Yeah, I'm doing great. Just finished one. Now we're doing for the other side. Exactly. And then complete the other part of the wheel by pressing another bottle cap onto the other end of the wooden skewer, like this. Please be careful, okay? Make sure it's very fit in the center of your bottle cap. Make sure it's straight too. How are you doing, Nicholas? I'm doing great. Are you, have you done your wheel? Um, almost to go to the word complete. It's okay. Take your time. Also, if your wheel's not straight, you can use the tack it to make it more straight. So Sharon, do you have any extra kit? I do, yeah. Okay, thank you. Since my skewer cannot go through, I'm gonna make a little bit more hole at the bottle cap. How are you doing, Nicholas? Yeah, just doing. Great. Are you done? How about you guys? Have you guys done your wheels? All right. Now, we, our wheels are completed. Please give 
a thumbs up emoji if you're done with your wheel. Okay, let's continue by taping both pieces of the wheels, which is this, under the top of the top holes like this. Your tape, make sure it's secure to your car. It's gonna be your wheels. Your wheels and your car. like this underneath of the square top that you just cut earlier so this is going to be your card are you doing it class yeah i'm doing great just trying to get some of the tapes out of my hand because it's getting sticky Make sure it's secured to your car, okay? So what's next, Nicholas? Okay, for the final touch, get a balloon and tape it with a straw. Tape it to the straw. Make sure it's very tight around the straw so there's no air come out when you blow the air from the straw later. Make sure it's very tight. And please check your balloon before you tape it. Is it okay? Does it have hole in it? How you doing, Nicholas? I did great. You want to try to blow your, your balloon first? Yes. How about a good test? Wow. It's work. Too much of potential energy in here. My turn. It's for two. Yeah. Okay, once you're ready, push the straw through the hole from the top to the bottom like this. Go to the bottom. Wow, look at this car, yes. Nicholas. Yes. Time to see this in action. And I how to do see that? This in action. You need to clear the surface first. Yes. first. And you just need to blow the straw to inflate the balloon and then put your finger over the tip of the straw to trap the air inside the balloon. 
And remember, the bigger the balloon, the bigger potential energy in it. Okay, let's start. Ready? Three, two, one. Woo! Shadow, I think my my car is very slow. It's lack of engine. We need, need a troubleshooting for that. If your car gets stuck, here are some troubleshooting tips. Make sure your axle are parallel to each other and the hole in each bottle cap is centered. The straw are securely taped to the bottle and do not wobble. The bottle caps are not tilted and not touching the bottle. And finally, the wooden skewer are no longer than the straw, as you can see. So it can move. Okay, now I'll I get how to do the troubleshooting part and I'll do it later. And for now, let's talk about how cars can move without an engine. In order to understand this, you have to understand that energy never and doesn't disappear. It's just a change of form in which it's just a change to another form. It starts when we inflate a balloon, which we did this just a while back. Then it stores potential energy. And when you release the balloon, the potential energy is converted to kinetic energy in which you can see the air comes out from there, which is also known as energy of motion. Apart from that, Newton came up with this third law, which is greatly observed in this activity that what we are doing, in which is that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. For example, our balloon car here too. When we release the air, the air is pushed out rapidly backwards. Hence, there is a reaction force that pushes the car forward. So, Sharol, what do you think about this? If you are wondering why your car, if you are wondering why your car stopped moving, that is because a deflated balloon does not store any potential energy to push the car. Remember, you are filling your car with a potential energy. The more you blow, the more potential energy and the further your car will travel. Yes, that's right, Sharo. We hope by making your own balloon power car, you can have a further understanding on how physics works. And most importantly, you enjoy yourself. Okay, kids, that's all for today. If you have any question, feel free to ask in our Facebook comments. And before we end our live session, please share your picture or your video of your balloon powered car on your social media and tag us using the hashtag, which is hashtag TinkerWeekend hashtag Tinker Gang, and hashtag PSEPN. We are happy to inform you that we will choose one lucky winner per session and stand a chance to win a popular bookstore voucher, NIPISF t-shirt. The winner will be announced every last week of the month. And remember to make your profile public so we can see your post. We hope you guys enjoyed this live session. Please fill in the feedback form as we would love to hear from you guys and your thoughts about this session. Thank you for joining us and see you in the next session. Bye. Bye.